The medical experts at El Paso County Public Health are calling suicide and overdose deaths leading health concerns in our community, and they're taking action to make the public more aware. Bill Folsom is here with a look at their newest initiative, Bill. Yeah, this new effort works to do more than just talk about this issue with two new online data dashboards for anyone to see the troubling numbers are visualized. Illegal fentanyl is the topic of many recent headlines. There's talk of people overdosing and dying, but just how bad is it? So this is a big, big, big player. El Paso County Public Health Co-Medical Director Dr. Bernadette Albanese offers a show and tell of the issue shown on Public Health's new data dashboard pages. You can toggle to do a year-to-year -year comparison of statistics. This is drug overdose deaths from 2018. Fentanyl, the dark line at the top, accounts for 7%. Also note the 35% of heroin caused overdose deaths in green. Switch to the most current data from 2022 and you see a dramatic switch. Heroin drops to 9% while fentanyl overdose deaths take over the lead at 46%. Having timely, relevant, and credible data from a reliable source in our community to paint the picture. The second data dashboard gets specific about suicides in our community. Veteran suicide is a common topic in El Paso County. The data dashboard breaks down suicides by age, gender, race, and veterans. They account for 25% of suicides in recent years. When we're thinking about directing resources or setting up programming or setting up interventions, we must, must think about how that fits with veterans and their access to those services. The data shows suicide numbers were lowering before the pandemic, then went back up during COVID isolation. And since then, they've stayed close to the same at around 185 a year. For perspective, that's close to the equivalent of one every other day. We are flatlined. So you can say, well, is that good because it's not going up? Yes, yes it is. It's not good that it's not coming down. And the numbers are meant for healthcare pros, counselors, schools, law enforcement, and anyone in the public. The plan is to start conversations and that can lead to strategies to bring the numbers down. Diane? Bill, thank you.